Joy, joy, joy. This is Swami, the orange cowboy. <laughs> and welcome to Angel Feathers. And I'm introducing you to uh, Susan Ronquil. And Susan, tell us your favorite angel story. Well, my favorite angel story is back in 1996, I had a major brain tumor. And I was sitting in a Pentecostal church. I was holding my newborn baby and I passed out. And I had glaucoma on both sides of the family. And so I went to the eye doctor and he told me, he said, Susan, there's not nothing wrong with your eyes, but there's major pressure back there. And so he sends me to Longview to Dr. Ted Slade, which we did a CAT scan. And my hair was down to my waist. And when we got through with the x-rays, I was putting my hair back up. And God showed me, he told me, he said, Susan, look to your right. I want to show you something. So I looked to the right and looked at the CAT scan, and there was this tumor, and it was big as an orange. And so that following Monday, well, I went up to his office, and he puts all these x-rays up there, and he says, here, 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 and it's got to come out. I'm like, okay. He said, so we're going to do it on the following Monday. So the following Monday, I went to the hospital at 12. I was in surgery for 12 hours, and I was in ICU for 24. Um, got out of ICU, went into my room, put my gown on, walked the nurse station 12 times. Not one pain pill did I have, not one, nothing. No seizures, no anything. And so on that fourth day, he comes into my room, getting ready to dismiss me. He goes, Susan, I just want to tell you something. And I'm like, okay. He said, you're amazing. I said, no, 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 no. My God's amazing. He goes, okay. He said, but I just want to tell you something. He said, at the foot of your bed, there were angels at the foot of your bed. There was one on the right and one on your left. And there was one holding my hand. And I looked at him and I go, really? He goes, yeah. He said, I felt him. And I'm like, wow. He said, so you're amazing. I said, no, I'm not amazing. He goes, okay, have it your way. So he walked Who's out. the doctor? Susan, yes, was, the, the doctor. was the doctor a, um, did he believe in angels? No, he did not. He was not a believer. Okay. He did not believe at all. Um, <laughs> but he saw, so he didn't believe, believe, right believe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't believe in angels, but he saw them there. <laughs> he saw them, yes. And he said, I've never met anybody like you. Never. He said, you have made a believer out of me. Wow. A believer. And so I had a goose egg come up back there where it started swelling. Well, they were going to have to go back in and drain the fluid. And I told him, I said, you're not touching me no more. God is going to take care of control. God's got this. You're not going to touch me no more. So that Wednesday night, Brother T.W. Barnes from Mendham, Louisiana, came to the church and was in revival. And so um, he looked at me. He said, sister. And I said, looked at me and he says come forward come here and i'm like okay so i walked down and he just pointed me out of everybody you know mm -hmm. and he said come forth and i walked down there and it was like you know when you're on a a sandy beach and it's real hot you know and it was like just like heat from the, my feet all the way to the top of my head right. and the next morning i got up there was no swelling no goose egg. You could not move the plate. You know, God had intervened and done what he's supposed to have done. And so I went back over there. They called me back to the hospital to do a, a, cat, a MRI. So I did the MRI, and he calls me back over there the next day. He says, I just need to ask you a question. I'm like, okay. So he sits the x-rays up where I had all the swelling and everything to come up. And he says, I need to ask you, what happened? I said, what do you mean? He said, what happened? Look at this. You have swelling here where we're going to have to go in and do, redo it again, but you have nothing here. I said, I have a great position upstairs. <laughs> and he said, Susan, coming from you, I am not going to deny this. He said, I'm not going to deny this coming from you. He said, but I'm going to let you know you've got doctors over there at the hospital and Good Shepherd and Longview that cannot figure this out. So Brother T.W. Barnes had asked me, to come to Menden, Louisiana to do my testimony. And so I went down there 
the pastor of the church and his wife, my ex-husband and my two sons, and some of the other church members. And so we were down there and I was giving my testimony and God stopped me. He said, Susan, you need to do an altar call. And I'm like, okay, Lord. He said, do an altar call. He said, because there's somebody in the church that has what you have and you need to pray for them. I'm like, okay. So everybody comes forth, but I walk up to the older couple there and I tell him, I said, your granddaughter, and they go, yes, has a brain tumor. Just right, if they cannot operate on it. And they go, right. I said, but God can heal it. So I prayed with them right there and I got her number. Now I'm expecting a little girl, teenager, you know, in her 20s, 30s, but not a 54 year old woman that I was supposed to be praying for. So I called this, this lady back and I called her on the phone the next day and I told her who I am, who I met her grandparents at, and I told her that God has told me I need to pray for her and that she has a tumor and they cannot operate on it. And she said, true, and she migrates all the time. So me and her become really, really good friends and she would call me all hours of the night. Two or three o'clock in the morning, your phone, my phone would ring, you know, crying and sobbing tears. And so one morning she called me at nine o'clock and she was in sobbing tears. She said, Susan, I hurt so bad and nothing's helping me. And I said, it's time for your healing. And I told her, I said, put your hand, put your hand back there where it's hurting. And she went to put her hand back there and I started praying, God, touch her. You know she's in pain. You know it's time for her healing. Lord, I ask the pain to leave. To leave right now, Lord, in your name. And so while I was praying for her, the pain was leaving. Hmm. The pain was leaving. And she, after I got through praying for her, she tells me, she says, I'm not hurting now. I'm like, praise the Lord. That's great. That's awesome. Hey, thank you for sharing the, your angel story and, and the follow-up so people all over see that they have this ability to, to mm -hmm. listen to their angels, to uh, think of others as well as themselves. And I want to thank you for being here on this edition of Angel Feathers. Uh, thank you. God bless. God bless.